Welcome to Module 3 of Correcting Performance Problems, Steps for Correcting Performance Problems. When you are ready, click Next to continue. Welcome to, the Steps for Correcting Performance Problems. The learning objectives for this module are to Conduct focused, collaborative correcting performance conversations that generate improved results. Apply a conversation framework. And to, role model the skill of the conversation skills being used effectively. When you are ready, click next to continue. The steps for correcting performance problems. Turn to steps for correcting performance problems in your participant guide. Click each tab below to learn about each step. Begin with step 1. When you have clicked and reviewed all 5 steps you may click next to continue. Step 1. State the purpose and process for the conversation. It's important for the employee to know that your intention is to support improved performance and that you expect their active participation in the conversation. When you are ready, click Step 2. Step 2. Describe the performance gap. In this step you will clearly and concisely describe the difference between agreed upon expectations and what is actually happening. You'll also recap any previous conversations about the issue and agreements that were made. Why is it important to describe the performance gap early in the conversation? It's to provide focus and capture attention. And to create ownership and serve as the basis for problem solving. When you are ready, click step 3. Step 3. Invite the employee's perspective. This allows you to connect with the employee and engage him or her as an active participant in addressing his or her own performance. What do you want to learn from the employee at this point? It's how do they see the situation? Any legitimate barriers getting in the way of improved performance and or if you play any role in the current situation. As you listen to the employee's perspective it's particularly important to keep the conversation focused yet remain curious and open to any new information the employee shares. How might you as the employee's manager actually be part of the problem? Are you, setting unclear expectations, not giving initial feedback, and, or, not providing appropriate resources? When you are ready, click Step 4. Step 4. Explore the impact. You'll want to have a two-way conversation that reinforces how the employee's level of performance is impacting others, customers, and the bigger picture. You'll also want to help the employee see the positive impact of his or her success at addressing the current situation. If any structured performance improvement process will be initiated, it's important to be direct about it here and to describe it in a concise, matter-of-fact way, without apology. When you are ready, click Step 5. Step 5. Agree on a plan. This is another chance to actively engage the employee in co-creating a plan to close his or her performance gap. This level of involvement is critical to tap into internal motivation and accountability. You'll also want to express confidence in the employee's ability to follow through on the plan. Prior to getting to this step, a best practice would be to briefly review any recommendations from risk management or your supervisor for the action planning step in the performance improvement process. For example, the need for documentation and getting employee agreement, and required next steps in the process. When you are ready, click Next. Let's take a look at a worksheet. Turn to, the steps in action, in your participant guide. You'll see that the ability to observe and express what you observe in behavioral terms plays an important role in correcting performance problems. You'll have a chance to practice this observational skill now and learn more about the steps for correcting performance problems at the same time. We will be watching the continuation of the first video, this time the manager realizes he can't delay any longer and steps up to have a conversation with the employee. For instructions on how to complete the worksheet, click Next. Let's take a closer look at the Steps in Action worksheet before we watch the video. First, notice the steps in the first column and specific behaviors that will support your success at demonstrating each one. Then. The second column provides space for you to jot down some observations about what you see and, or hear the leader do to put the steps into action. And, finally, take a moment to review the first column now and circle the steps that you are particularly interested in observing. Be sure to have your worksheet and your pen or pencil ready, the video will play automatically once you click next.
Hey, kiddo. Close. You're in town. I am. And I want to borrow your brilliance. Ah, oh, anytime, my friend. You ever hear of a company called Uber Still? Consumer goods are huge in Europe. Yeah, who hasn't? They're looking at six products, three from each company. And there's no way I can explain products like you can. You want me on a call? I want to fly you to Berlin. <laughs> Very cool. When? Next week. I'll, uh... Oh. Did you have to take that? Yeah, it's Jamal. Yeah, take it. Take it. I'll check back with you later. Hey, this is exciting. Hi, Jamal. Oh, you know, something new every day. Sure. Um... I can do 11. I'd like that. Okay, I'll see you then. <sighs> right, the merger committee met this morning, and I have to say, your project was a hot topic. The product database? Good to know. And that's where I'd like to focus. I want to help you keep your project on track. I'll start by sharing my thoughts, and then I'd like to hear yours. My goal is a path forward for the both of us. Sure, Jamal. The last time we discussed the project, I shared my concerns about the schedule. You said you'd pick up the pace, and you expressed confidence that you would hit that March 4th deadline. I did say that, and some things have come up. I understand that you canceled two project meetings, and because you've been unable to complete some action items, others can't complete theirs. I have good reasons for all that. I want to hear them. First, I'd like to share one other observation. Okay. Your talents are in high demand. You help colleagues with IT problems, you go on client calls, you explain product details, you even keep up with tech trends. I'm glad you see all that. I also see that all these activities are taking time away from the database project. What can I do? People need help. It's a vicious cycle, Steffi. Salespeople don't have a database to learn on their own, so they call you, and that robs time that you need to build the database. Okay, there is some truth to what you're saying, but I think you're missing the point. Please, tell me how you see the situation. Look, there's a lot of stuff that only I can do. Vital stuff. For example? Well, when you called, I was talking to Klaus. He wants to fly me to Berlin to preview products for Uber still. Who else can do that? That sounds like a very good question. Like you say, I get product questions all the time. Am I supposed to go dark? No, of course not. What else is taking time from the project? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, I have a very fragmented job. Yes, I have noticed. Look, I start working on the database, I get interrupted. Something else comes up, and it's a thousand miles back to the project. All these things are urgent. I'm the person everybody calls. It seems like helping others is a great source of satisfaction for you. But it's not just that. Look, most of what I do supports immediate revenue. Teaching salespeople, teaching clients about our products. I'm helping the company, not just individuals. Thanks for that perspective. I recognize the impact you've had on the company performance. I'm glad. I see a far greater impact of a working product database. We're merging two companies, two sales teams, two product sets. I get that, Jamal. And if each team doesn't really understand what the other company has to sell, that knowledge gap has a huge impact on revenue. That's my point. The fact is, Steffi, it's impossible to enlighten 400 salespeople one at a time, one product at a time. A solid product database is the only long-term solution. Are you open to offloading some of your day-to-day -day activities so you can devote most of your time to this project? Sure, Jamal. But to whom? Okay, let's get into it. Okay. So your only definite sales call is Uberstill? I've heard mention of others, but nothing yet. Mm -hmm. And you'll tell Klaus you'll call in, or you can help him find someone else. He'll be disappointed. You may have to disappoint a few others before March 4th. You'll refer product knowledge questions to Elaine. 
Yes, she'll have to research some questions. Oh, that's all right. Finally, you'll send all IT questions to the help desk. They're slower, but they're good. Okay. What impact do you see these changes having on the project? If I can get big chunks of time, I can finish my action items by the next project meeting. Very good. Let's talk the day before the meeting and see where things stand. Steffi, I think you know the urgency here. I have great confidence you can guide this project to the finish line. I will send you a meeting invitation for next week. Let's debrief the video. Read and click each question to the left to reveal possible answers. Once you have read and reviewed both the questions and answers, you may click next to continue. Words to use, words to avoid. We've focused on what the manager said and did that was effective. Sometimes what you don't say is equally important. Turn to words to use, words to avoid in your participant guide. When you're ready to go, click the buttons below to learn more. Once you have clicked and reviewed all four buttons, you may click next to continue. Let's take the time to read through the words to use and avoid. Words to use. It's important to or it's important that. I'd like you to consider. Are you open to? I'm confident you will or can. I'd suggest. What the job calls for is. What I have observed. Words to avoid. But. Always, or, never. You can. Why don't you? You must. You should not or you should. When you are ready, click the second button. Words to use. You may have noticed that the words to use encourage choice and they promote internal motivation to own the issue and take positive next steps. When you are ready, click the third button. Words to avoid. The words to avoid are controlling words that reduce an employee's internal motivation by minimizing the feeling of choice. When you are ready, click the fourth button. Turning performance problems around has much to do with the degree of internal motivation that is operating within the employee. You'll have a chance to consider the words you will choose a little later in the session as you prepare to address the situation you selected. When you are ready, click next to continue. Let's review. You should now be able to Conduct focused, collaborative correcting performance conversations that generate improved results. Apply a conversation framework and role model the skill of the conversation skills being used effectively. When you are ready, click next to continue. Great job, you have completed module three. Now that you have a framework for correcting performance conversations, let's look at a few high payoff preparation activities that will help ensure your success using it. Click the X in the top right corner of this course to continue on to module four.